Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Kendra Morgan with Cards by Kendra and today I'll be sharing with you some shaker cards that I made using the Queen & Company's Beach Bound Kit and the card sketches from Kendra's Card Challenge 2. I am sharing cards 1 through 8. I didn't want to make this video too terribly long but first let me show you this kit. It comes with these metal dies here in the shapes of different beach themed objects and it also has a stamp set that has a bunch of really awesome sentiments that go along with it. As you can see here there's quite a few to choose from so I'll be using all of these on the cards that I'm making over the next couple of videos. So here are the dies. These are the foam pieces that are already ready to go and it also comes with the little shaker bits that go inside. And this is the beach bound six by six paper pad. And this is what I'll be using the, temp the cutting templates from Kendra's Card Challenge 2. So let me first flip through and quickly show you the different papers that come in this paper pad. There are three sheets of each design and they are double sided. So you can pick and choose whichever ones that you like, whichever side you want. And they all coordinate together. Now most of these papers are non-directional, meaning it doesn't matter which way you have them on your paper. So what I'm doing here is just tearing out one of each and then I'm going to decide which of these that I want to use because it only takes six sheets for the challenge. So I'm going to take out the one with the surfboards on it, but I will be using some of the extra papers with what I, what I cut out here for my cards. Now these are the cutting templates and as you can see they're color coded and you basically follow along with the colors for each card sketch. So the one that has the orange and red on it, you'll use the two papers that are orange and red. So it's pretty straightforward. I do have another video that I will link above in case you um, w would like a little bit more explanation as to how to cut these. But what I'm gonna do here is just decide which one I wanna use for each sheet so there's basically sheet a b c d e and f and then i'll be cutting these off camera and then sorting them into piles because there are 14 different card sketches and so once i have those in piles i'll be showing you basically the process of how i put all of these cards together so i won't show you how i cut them and sorted them but i will show you how i put the cards together once everything has been pretty much laid out for me. I've already cut the frames and everything. So here is card sketch number one. I have sped this part of the video up quite a bit. I've taken a piece of textured green cardstock as my background and glued that down. And then I've used the rounded, the rounded edge square dies from Pink and Main and I cut my layers out for the two squares that were cut out from papers A and B. And now I'm taking a little scrap piece of the paper that has waves on it, and I am heat embossing the sentiment on there with some white embossing powder. Now for the heat embossing, I did do this off camera, and you will see me use the Versamark ink and the super fine white embossing powder throughout the video, but my heat tool is plugged in on the other side of the room, so you won't see that part on the video. But I just wanted to explain that. And I'm not gonna do a whole lot of talking throughout this, but I did kinda want to, want to explain my process. I put down the, the backing part of my shaker piece, and then I added the foam piece, then the shaker bits, and then the acetate, and then the frame that goes around that. And I'm doing the same thing here with my bucket. Now, I did forget to add the little shovel to the bucket when I was recording this video, so I did end up adding that later, and it did definitely add to the card. I really enjoyed putting together all of these cards and using the fun patterns that were in this paper pad. This has been probably my most favorite set of cards that I've made using the card challenge. Um, but to finish this card off, I just added a little seashell that matched my son, and that just kind of finished it all off. Of course, the shovel did help, but that was card sketch number one. Now we're going to move on to card sketch number two. Now this card does have quite a few layers. I started with a piece of lime green cardstock, 
And then I decided to use one of the extra sheets or pieces of paper from the paper pad that has the surfboards on it since my focal point of this card will be the surfboards. And so then I glued down another piece of lime green cardstock and then layered up the strips here. Now I did get the bottom piece crooked, but I'll cover that up here in just a moment. But my two surfboards, one of them is gonna be a shaker and the other one is not. But before I put those down, I'm gonna stamp on directly onto one of those strips using some Versamark ink. And I like to use my mouse pad. I tend to get a better impression when I do that. And then of course I've heat embossed this off camera. And here you see me gluing down a bottom strip just to cover up where I glued that down a little crooked. So here I'm just gluing down my pieces for the surfboard that's not gonna be my shaker. And I placed the other one down so I would know where to put the, the base part or the middle part of the surfboard. And then here I'm filling, I almost forgot to fill, fill it before I put the acetate on there, I had to peel it back. And then to finish off this card, I just added some enamel dots. And this is card sketch number two. Now for card sketch number three, I did decide to add another layer behind the flip-flops because my background is red and I really wanted the yellow to be pulled out since that's what my swimsuit is. And then I also have the sun. So I'm starting with stamping directly onto my red layer. And this one says sending you sunshine. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue that down first and then I'll glue together all of my pieces. And this one's pretty much straightforward. My shaker pieces, I'm only gonna have the swimsuit as my shaker piece, but I thought that the, the sun added a lot to this card. So I don't wanna talk the entire time, but I did wanna explain when you see me cutting some little scraps, it's just so that the, my layers will glue down flat and you won't see those ridges because I do have a lot of layers. Now I am gonna pop this sun up with some foam squares just to give it a little bit of dimension, but I really like this card. I think this one is super cute. So to finish off this card, I added a little gold embellishment to the center of my sun and then a little white bow. And I'm attaching both of these with some Gina K Connect liquid glue. And this is card sketch number three. Okay, so for card sketch number four, I am using a red layer first, just like on the last card. This one's very similar to, it's a different layout, but I used very similar colors. The only difference is I decided to use the swim trunks as my shaker piece. And this one says, relax, you deserve it. I ended up using this as a Father's Day card. It turned out super cute. In case you didn't already know, Kendra's card challenges are quarterly, which means you'll have three months to create your cards and then you can enter to win prizes. So if you go to my website at cardsbykendra.com, I'll also link it in the description box below. You can get more information on how you can enter and all of the different prizes that are available. I didn't quite line up my acetate exactly where it needed it to be, but I just ended up cutting that excess part off with my scissors. And so here I'm just adding the band to the swim trunks. And then I decided just to glue this sun directly down on to the card rather than popping it up with some foam squares. And then to finish that off, I just added the little sunglass sticker from a pack of stickers that I bought from Michaels. And that's card sketch number four. Moving on to card sketch number five. This sketch is pretty straightforward. I used the flip flops on top and then the blue and white polka dots down on the bottom and I used a red piece to kind of break the two up. And then also another strip of yellow in between that. Now, instead of using the gray strip that you see on the sketch, I'm just gonna use my shaker piece for that. So my little swimsuit will go there and here I'm stamping on the sentiment onto a scrap piece of white cardstock. And I'm not gonna be heat embossing this, but I am adding a very um, thin layer around that. And this is pretty much card sketch number five.
to finish this off. I'm adding a little orange flower with a red brad in the center, and I'm gonna use my reverse tweezers to hold that down while it dries. And this is card sketch number five. Now for card sketch number six, it does call for just a reg regular colored piece of cardstock for that bottom layer, but I decided to pull in one of the polka dotted pieces because I thought it tied everything together since I'm using the swim trunks and the swimsuit on this card. Not only the swimsuit will be the shaker piece, but I'm starting with stamping first. And this one, because I've got the swim trunks and the swimsuit, I thought that this sentiment worked really well with it. It says, I love you to the beach and back. And this time I used Catherine Pooler ink and some clear embossing powder. I'll list all of the products that I'm using for these cards in the description box below. And this is card sketch number six. For card sketch number seven, I decided to turn it landscape so that my surfboard would be on the plain green piece of cardstock. And so that's what I'm gluing down here. And this one's pretty straightforward and I think it turned out really cute also. And the last one I'll be sharing on this video is card sketch number eight. And this is the first one I've actually used the sandcastle on. And it's probably my favorite out of this group of cards. Now I will be posting another video with card sketches nine through 14. It's actually 15, a total of 15 cards. But this one's pretty straightforward. Also, you just have that one rectangle piece there on the far left. And then I decided to use the, um, sentiment that says have a sensational day and i really think these uh sandcastles are just adorable i i love all of the cards that i made with the sandcastles which i'll be sharing with you in the next video so if you're not already a subscriber be sure to go ahead and click on that subscribe button and turn on those notifications so you'll get notified when i post a new video now with the sandcastle, there are some little tiny windows that you can cut out with the dies, and I think it adds a lot to this card. It just adds that finishing touch. Now I did end up adding some foam tape to the back of my sentiment to pop that up to be the same thickness as the shaker piece itself. And then I also popped up my sun using some small foam squares as well. 
And to finish off the card, I added a yellow button to the center of my sun and another yellow enamel dot on the sandcastle. So here are card sketches one through eight from Kendra's Card Challenge 2. Again, check out that link in my description box if you would like more information on the challenge. We'll be starting a new one on July 1st. Also, you can find additional card making inspiration on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. Thank you so much for watching today, and I hope you have a wonderful crafty day.